What up? It's your boy Red, and I'm review review. Wow, that sounded weird. The Secret Life of Arietti, right? Um, film. I'm continuing my Studio Ghibli films. I know I stopped like last year, but uh, let's continue, right? And that's what I thought, anyways. So I love this film, right? I like this film. It's amazing. It's like one of those films. It shows you like a summer, and then it's kind of like real life. You have one of those summers. You meet someone. Uh, have a big impact on your life and you'll probably never see them again right or maybe you do who knows but in this case it's one of those kind of things uh, this kid moves into his old mom's house because he's sick and he's gonna have heart surgery uh, apparently this house has little people living in it which are called borrow borrowers <laughs> i can't say that word that well and um they, you know they borrow stuff from uh sugar to stuff you know things that people won't typically you know miss you know, only things they need to survive, right? And they're little, so a little bit of sugar goes a long way, right? Or a little bit of the tissue goes a long way. Who knows, right? Um, and they live right underneath the house. Um, so that's your premise right there. So I know we, I've seen this stuff before, and uh, I think they got inspiration from a, a book as well. Uh, but it was done really well. I mean, the artwork is incredible still. I mean, Studio Ghibli, right? It's bright, it's magical. I mean, the little people's house, which is, you know, Ariadne's house, is beautifully done. Um, the dollhouse they show later on in the film that's next to the boy's bed is beautifully done as well. I mean, who's the antagonist in this movie? I guess you could say the maid was, but in general is, you know, mistrust, uh, stuck in old ways. I mean, they tell Ariadne that uh, the big people, I guess humans, us, uh, we shouldn't be trusted, we're dangerous, which, I mean, for someone that small, I mean, yeah, right? We could do something that they don't like, we hurt them by accident, you know, it just, it happens. And for the big people, I guess it would be, you know, leave well enough and alone, you know, don't interfere with other people's lives, you can only make it worse even though you had the good intentions. And that's what we see in this film. Um, the boy, uh, Sean wants to do good things to you know he wants to do help Ariadne and stuff like that but eventually his meddling uh, as for borrow borrows uh, the little people I can't say that word um, eventually if someone spots them or they get interfered enough they move out of the house and leave right that's their way if not they disappear or something happens bad they, they talk about two other families that lived in that house with Ariadne's family one of them disappeared he said no one knows what happened and the other one just moved away so who knows right um, so that's the whole film, right? It's like a little couple days, so summer in interaction, and that's pretty fun, actually. I mean, we get to see them explore the houses, use uh, nails, wood boards. Uh, they don't like rats. Luckily, we don't have too many interaction with rats. I you kind of I thought there was interaction with rat, but maybe this movie cut it out. I don't know. Um, a bird tries to eat area in one of the scenes. That was funny, and she's. <laughs> that, that was a hilarious scene um, music wise was pretty good the music was decent enough I enjoyed the music and the ending let me want, left me wanting more actually more of uh, finding out if the surgery went well or Arietti found a new home possibly love who knows I mean is this a love movie <sighs> I guess you could say that she fell in love with Sean I don't know not really they're just friends but you know it's one of those people you meet that you don't you know you don't want to forget and probably never see them again like i said in the beginning right um actually in the end of the the, the disney version sean says he never saw them again but he heard rumors that people are losing stuff in other houses i don't know um but that's not the way the original was or the uk version was by the way the uk version uh tom holland voiced boy so that's interesting right um but uh hopefully they i mean Studio Ghibli never makes sequels and i don't i don't want to say that they, they never never because who knows they might right but um this will be one of them where i'm like i want to see more what happened to arietti and you know her family but uh, overall i'm gonna give this a 7 out of 10. i enjoyed the movie uh it was good like the whole time it was like a decent pace the highs weren't too high and the lows weren't too low it was perfect so 7 out of 10 good movie i enjoyed it thanks for watching don't forget Links down below, merch, you know, t-shirts, check it out. Got some new, you know, shirts on there. I know you guys will enjoy. All right, thanks for watching. Catch you guys on the next review. Peace.